the book of Jasher. God created man in his own image, after he made heaven and earth. God created man in his own image and blew into his nostrils the breath of life. He then caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he woke up to find a woman standing before him. Adam awoke from his sleep to find a woman standing before him, and he named her Eve. God blessed them and placed them in the Garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. The serpent, which God had created, came to Adam and Eve to incite them to transgress the command of God which he had commanded them and the woman heard the voice of the serpent and she transgressed the command of God which he had commanded them and Adam and his wife were cursed. Adam and Eve were driven from the Garden of Eden and lived at the east of the Garden of Eden. Their father gave them a possession in the land, and they brought an approximating offering to the Lord. Cain and Abel his brother were plowing their fields when Cain's flock passed over the part of the field he had plowed. Cain approached his brother Abel in anger and said, What is there between us that thou comers to dwell and bring thy flock to feed in my land, and now therefore put off the wool of my sheep with which thou hast clothed yourself? Cain asked his brother Abel if he should slay him this day. And Abel answered that God would avenge his cause and require his blood from thee should style slay me. When Cain heard the words that Abel had spoken, his anger was kindled against his brother Abel and Cain slew him, spilt his blood on the earth, and repented of having slain his brother. The Lord appeared to Cain and asked him where his brother was, and Cain dissembled and said he did not know. The voice of thy brother's blood cries unto me from the ground where thou hast slain him for thou hast slain him and hast assembled before me, and it's imagined in thy heart that I saw thee not nor knew all thy actions, but thou didst this thing, and it slay thy brother for naught. At that time Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and wandered in the land toward the east of Eden. His wife conceived and bore a son, and he called his name Enoch. The Lord gave him rest and quiet in the earth. And Cain also began to build a city, and he named the city Enoch according to the name of his son, and Irat was born to Enoch, and Irat begot Mekuyal, and Mekuyal begot Methusel, and Jasher chapter 2 follows. The sons of men rebelled against God and served other gods, forgetting the Lord who had created them. They made images of brass, iron, wood and stone and bowed down and served them. The anger of the Lord was kindled against Enoch and his children, and the Lord destroyed the third part of the earth, and the sons of men did not turn from their evil ways. There was neither sowing nor weeping in the earth, and famine was very great. Earth became corrupt after Adam sinned, and Kynan, a very wise man, reigned over all the sons of men and led them to wisdom and knowledge, for he knew that God would destroy the sons of men for having sinned upon earth. Kainan wrote on tablets of stone what was to take place in time to come, and put them in his treasures. He reigned over the whole earth and begot three sons and two daughters, and their names were Malalel, Anan, and Mird. Kainan had five children, and Lamech, the son of Methuselah, took two of his daughters for his wives, and Ada conceived and bore two sons, Jabal and Jubal, and Zillah was barren. The sons of men began to trespass against God and transgress the commandments that he had given to Adam, and some of the sons of men caused their wives to drink a draft that would render them barren. When Zillah became old, the Lord opened her womb and she conceived and bare a son and a daughter, whom she named Tubal Cain and Nemer. Lamech was old and advanced in years and his eyes were dim that he could not see, and Tubal Cain his son was leading him. And one day they went into the field and Tubal Cain his son slew Cain the son of Adam, and Lamech was very grieved at having done this and struck his son and caused his death. The wives of Lamech hated him from that day on because he slew Cain and Tubal Cain, but Lamech pressed his wives to listen to him about this matter. Lamech's wives listened to him and returned to him with the advice of their father Adam but they bore no children to him from that time knowing that God's anger was increasing in those days against the sons of men to destroy them with the waters of the flood. Enoch served the Lord and despised the evil ways of man, and he secreted himself from the sons of men for many days, until an angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and told him to go to the sons of men and teach them the ways of the Lord. All the sons of men assembled to Enoch, and all who desired to know the ways of the Lord and good works went to Enoch. 
Enoch reigned over the sons of men according to the word of the Lord, and they bowed down to him and heard his word. The Spirit of God was upon Enoch, and he taught all his men the wisdom of God and his ways. Enoch was made king over one hundred and thirty kings and princes, and he taught them wisdom, knowledge, and the ways of the Lord. He made peace amongst them and peace was throughout the earth during the life of Enoch. Enoch lived eighty-seven years and begot Methuselah, Elisha and Elimelech three sons and their sisters were Melka and Nemer. At nine hundred and thirty years old, Adam was buried with great pomp in the cave which God had told him, and the sons of men made a great mourning and weeping on account of Adam. Enoch resolved to separate himself from the sons of men and to secret himself as at first in order to serve the Lord. Enoch secreted himself from the sons of men for three days and then went to them for one day, and he taught them the ways of the Lord and all they asked him about the Lord he told them, and he did this for many years until all the kings and princes sought for him. The day came when Enoch went forth and they all assembled and came to him and bowed down before him. Some time after, an angel of the Lord called Enoch from heaven and wanted to make him reign over the sons of God. At that time Enoch went and assembled all the inhabitants of the earth and taught them wisdom and knowledge and gave them divine instructions and he reproved them and placed before them statutes and judgments to do upon earth and made peace amongst them and taught them everlasting life. Enoch saw a horse and said to the sons of men that were with him that the time had come for him to go from them and no more be seen by them. All the sons of men assembled and came to Enoch that day, and all the kings of the earth with their princes and counselors remained with him that day, and Enoch taught the sons of men wisdom and knowledge and gave them divine instruction, and he made them serve the Lord and walk in his ways. The kings returned from their journey with Enoch and caused a census to be taken to know the number of remaining men. On the eighth day, all the kings that had been with Enoch went to bring back the number of men that were with Enoch and found the earth filled with snow. All the days that Enoch lived on earth were three hundred and sixty-five years, and when he ascended into heaven all the kings of the earth took Methuselah his son and anointed him to reign over them in the place of his father. In the latter days of Methuselah, the sons of men turned from the Lord, corrupted the earth, robbed and plundered each other, rebelled against God, and provoked the Lord to repent that he had made man, and he thought to destroy and annihilate them. Seth the son of Adam died. Lamech was one hundred and eighty years old when he took Ashmua, the daughter of Elisha the son of Enoch his uncle, and she conceived, and Lamech's wife conceived and bare him a son at the revolution of the year and Methuselah called his name Noah, and the child grew up and was weaned, and went in the ways of his father. The Lord saw the whole earth and it was corrupt for all flesh had corrupted its ways upon earth all men and all animals. He said he would blot out man that he created from the face of the earth. The Lord said he would blot out man that he created from the face of the earth and all men who walked in the ways of the Lord died in those days before the Lord brought the evil upon man which he had declared concerning the sons of man. All who followed the Lord died in those days, before they saw the evil that God declared to do upon earth. After many years, only Methuselah was left, and God told him to speak to the sons of men and forsake his works. The Lord said to the sons of men, Return from your evil ways and forsake your works, and he would repent of the evil that he declared to do to you, but the sons of men would not hearken to him. Noah the son of Lamech refrained from taking a wife in those days to beget children for he said Surely now God will destroy the earth wherefore shall I beget children and Noah was a just man he was perfect in his generation and the Lord chose him to raise up seed. Naama conceived and bare a son, and Nemer conceived and bare a son, and they all went in the ways of the Lord in all that Methuselah and Noah their father taught them, but Lamech the father of Noah died, and Lamech lived seven hundred and seventy years. Noah and Methuselah stood before the sons of men and told them all that God had spoken to them concerning them, so that they might turn from their evil ways and the Lord would not bring evil upon them. Noah and Methuselah stood forth and said in the ears of the sons of men all that God had spoken concerning them, but the sons of men would not hearken nor incline their ears to all their declarations. 
The Lord then told Noah to make a large ark out of gopher wood and to place it in a certain spot. The sons of the earth rebelled against the Lord and made gods of wood and stone. And the king and all his servants in Turo with all his household were then the first of those that served gods of wood and stone, and all that generation were wicked in the sight of the Lord. Abram, the son of Turah, was waxing great in the house of Noah, and the Lord gave him an understanding heart. Abram saw the sun and prayed to it, but when evening came the sun set and he said within himself, Surely this cannot be God. Abram saw the stars and moon before him and said, Surely this is the God who created the whole earth as well as man, and behold these his servants are gods around him. He served the moon and prayed to it all that night. Abram remained in the house of Noah and served the Lord all his life, but all that generation forgot the Lord and served other gods of wood and stone and rebelled all their days. They all went before the king and told him these words and he agreed with them that they should build a city and a strong tower. All the families assembled consisting of about 600,000 men went to seek an extensive piece of ground to build the city and the tower, and they divided themselves in three parts. The first part said they would ascend into heaven and fight against the Lord God of heaven. The second part said, God saw all their works and all their evil thoughts, and when they were building a great city and a very high and strong tower, they cast arrows toward the heavens and all the arrows fell upon them filled with blood, and they said to each other, Surely we have slain all those in heaven. God said to the seventy angels to confuse their tongues so that one man would not understand the language of his neighbor. The angels did so and the three divisions were punished according to their works and designs. The Lord killed those who said they will ascend to heaven and serve their gods, scattered those who said they will fight against him, and forsook building the city and the tower, and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed up one third of it, burning another third. Peleg the son of Eva died in those days in the forty-eighth year of the life of Abram son of Tyra, and all the days of Peleg were two hundred and thirty-nine years. The sons of men built many cities according to their families in all the places where they went. These are the sons of Jamath according to their families, Gomer, Magog, Medai, Javan Tubal, Meshech and Tyrus. The children of Japheth according to their generations are Frankum, Ripheth, Bartonum, Bidzebug uncle and Tilmas. All these people spread and rested in the north and built themselves cities. Some were by the rivers Hithler and Italic, others by the great river Dubne, some by the sea, some by the rivers Kura and Peshea, and some by the mountains of Jab and Shabbath. The children of Japheth were scattered after the tower and built themselves cities as they found fit places for them. The children of Ham were Kash Mitsurim according to their generation and cities. The children of Mitsurim built themselves cities and called them after the names of their fathers, and the children of Pathros and Kaslok intermarried together and built themselves cities and called them after the names of their fathers. For men from the family of Ham went to the land of the plain and built themselves four cities. They were fruitful and multiplied greatly and dwelt peaceably. The sons of Ham went and built themselves cities in the places where they were scattered and called their cities after their names. The sons of Shem went and built themselves cities in the places where they were scattered and called their cities after their names, and Asher went and built himself four cities. Nineveh was risen Kalak and Rio Bota, and the children of Asher dwell there unto this day. In the second year after the tower, a man from the house of Asher named Bela built a small city in the land of Zor and named it after himself. All the families of the children of Noah built themselves many cities after this. Nimrod son of Cash built cities in the land of China and called them after occurrences that happened to them in the building of the tower and he placed the remainder of his people in these cities and he renewed his reign over the rest of his subjects. Nimrod did not return to the Lord, continued in wickedness, and caused his son to sin, therefore it is said that from the wicked goeth forth wickedness. The families of the children of Ham were at war with the king of Elam, who went away from them and subdued them. The five cities of the plain were then under his control for twelve years. Abram came from the house of Noah and went to his father's house, where his father followed strange gods. 
Abram saw twelve gods in his father's house and his anger was kindled. He went from them and his anger burned within him. Abram went from the chamber to his father's outer court and found his father sitting in the court and all his servants with him. Abram asked his father where the God who created heaven and earth was and his father said they were all with them in the house. Abram's mother fetched a kid from the flock and made savory meat of it, and she brought it to Abram, who brought it before his father's gods and drew nigh to them so they might eat. But the gods would not eat, so Abram mocked them and prepared fresh savory meat tomorrow. Abram's mother made him some excellent savory meat from three fine kids and gave it to him, but Turah did not know of it. Abram took the savory meat from his mother and brought it before his father's gods, but they could not eat. Abram was clothed with the Spirit of God and called out to his father, Woe unto my father and this wicked generation whose hearts are all inclined to vanity. Terah came into the house to know what was going on and ran to the room of images where he found all the idols broken and the hatchet in the hand of the largest which was not broken. Tyra's anger was kindled against his son Abram when he spoke this, and he said to Abraham his son in his anger, What is this work thou hast done to my gods? Abram's father asked him how he could serve idols in whom there was no power to do anything, and how could they deliver him from the hands of his enemies or fight his battles for him. In days of old, men served wood and stone gods, but the Lord God of the universe brought the waters of the flood upon them and destroyed the whole earth. Therefore, my father, refrain from serving wood and stone gods. Abram broke his father's largest idol with a hatchet and ran away, and Tyra went to the king and bowed down to him. A man begged his lord to hear him, because a child he had born had done evil to his gods and had spoken evil. The king sent three men to bring Abram before him, and Abram answered that the large god that was with them in the house did to them what he had heard, and the king asked Abram if they had power to speak and eat and do as they had said. The god of the universe is angry with the people of the earth because they have filled the whole earth with their sins. If they continue to sin, the god of the universe will bring evil upon them and the whole earth. Abram warned the wicked that they would die in shame if they did not hearken to his words and serve the eternal God.